my Hawang. And yes, I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a KTB, Korean traditional bowl. It's supposedly made in the traditional math methods using modern materials. I actually don't know. I'll put a link below for the website. I have a video where I did a chronograph reading on this. It's two years old. It's from 2019, summer of 2019. Before the bow was actually mine, that would have been when I was borrowing it to do a video. And it's been viewed more times than all my other videos in the past 48 hours, which I find surprising. Just because, well, for one, my videos don't get a lot of views. But the videos, the views are starting to grow on that video. It's not a very good video. I had a lot of fun. Some of the comments below are great, and some of them are kind of strange. Um, on a different video where I showed the beauty shots, I had one fellow who was complaining that I was that this bow was wasted on me because I don't shoot it very often. I actually babied this bow. I do shoot it. I just don't shoot it very often, mostly because I want it to last longer. And these are bows are they're a wearable item. They wear out. You can wear out a bow. It'll take a lot of effort in my case to wear this bow out, but it will wear out eventually. Um, so I wanted to stay with me as long as possible. Um, the nice, well, what was once white rope or string or whatever, yeah, it's not, it's not white anymore. But that's okay, I'm fine with that. Um, that means I'm using it. Uh, its value to me is, well, it's these are not inexpensive to purchase, these bows. Uh, it's not priceless to me, but it's also not worthless to me. I don't assign a value to it because it's one of my prized possessions. I have, I, I collect bows. I have a collection of bows. And s some of the bows are specifically owned because I want to have an example of that bow in that type. And this is one of the better made ones that I own. Much, I mean, it's, it's a high quality bow and I'm very happy with it. Other comments that I've read are, are guys complaining about my speed. They, they basically say I'm going too slow. Um, the average on that particular video was like 198 feet per second. Uh, one arrow went like 212 or something like that. can't remember what it is. I'm fully aware that, yeah, oh yeah, I, I can get these, I can get much faster arrow speed out of this. Use lighter arrows. I have a basic rule of thumb, 10 grains per pound. And I feel that that's a safe choice to make because the energy's got to go somewhere. And if you have an arrow that's too light, yeah, you're going to get it to go rocket fast. But you're not going to, it's not going to absorb all the energy of the bow, so the energy's got to go somewhere. So that stress, that, that stress is going to stay within the limbs or go into your arm. Now, I, this is a 54 at 28 bow from what I understand. I pull 49-ish, I'll say. I'll round it off to 50 just to make my math easy. So 10 grains per pound would be a 500 grain arrow. Now the arrows I have in my basement are all, they're a chunk. They're all different sizes and all different weights. So some of these arrows are going to be going very, very fast in that very short distance that across my room here, about four meters. So yeah. Oh yeah, I can get these arrows going a lot faster than what, what that video had them going. I mean, a lot faster. But it all depends on the arrow weight. And I don't personally trust the idea of shooting a 360 green arrow, which by the way, I have done it off this bow. And I won't do it again. Now, the truth of the matter is I did it to shoot for distance and I got a bit more distance than I should have gotten out of it. And I got myself, almost got myself in trouble for doing so, um, because it went somewhere where it wasn't supposed to go. So I won't do that again. At any rate, this is a very sweet bow. It is a wonderful bow. It makes me work because I'm not used to shooting 49-ish, 50-ish pounds. Um, I'm, especially in my basement, where it's really not safe. Uh, one of the arrows. That butt's really beat up. 
There we go. Put it down lower. So, I figured I would chat about the Hoang and shoot the Hoang. I don't shoot Korean style. For one, I can't pull it that far. That draw weight too far. I would have to work on it some more. I own two Koreans in this kind of draw weight. I have a Kaya. And it's 60 at 31, so that's about 55 at 28, so it's roughly about the same draw weight as this one. I like the fact that this one's covered. I like the cover on it, and I really like the black on the back. And I actually like this handle a lot better. I'm thinking I'm going to change the handle on the Kaya to something like this. It might be more comfortable. The Kaya just uses that, they use a, a leather over top of the foam. It's okay. I'm, I don't mind it. I'm just thinking I might change it. Ooh, that butt, they just put it through the butt. It, I need to replace my butt. And to be honest, for the bows I normally use, which would be in the basement, which would be, you know, like this one, my uh, 25, yeah, 25 to 28 Ottoman from AF Archery. In the basement, it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm not even pulling the full 25. If I go to the 26 inch draw, yeah, that butt is, I'm slamming stuff and stuff's actually falling out of the butt. That's how bad the butt is. So, I don't normally shoot this in the basement. I usually use it for pole archery, actually. When I do use it, I'll use it. And that, I'm shooting a 950 grain arrow for pole archery, which this is great. Oh boy, is it ever go. The interesting thing is, is that I probably only achieve 150, maybe 180 feet of altitude, which means it loses all of its energy, hits its apex of its flight at 150 or whatever feet, and then it starts coming down. Whereas when I was fooling around with this, uh, <laughs> yeah, it went outside of the park I was, the archery range that I was shooting in, and across the street and into another field. Um, if I say 400 yards, maybe more, but 400 yards, and that was a 300 something green arrow, it was a target arrow and uh, I let it loose and uh, yeah I went oh I let it loose and I'm like oh that's going far oh that's going I went uh oh that's going too far oh no yeah oh no the field I was in is a military archery park and I'm not a military person I'm a civilian and I'm there a member of the club out of courtesy in other words, the permission of the base commander, because he allows civilians to join the club. He doesn't have to. The club's not mandated. The club's not there for, you know, me. It's there for, for the armed forces members and for the retired members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, dumb. Hence, I will not shoot distance anymore with this bow, and I will not shoot less than 10 grains per pound. Here in the basement, I probably am, but I'm not worried about that. So, Hawang is a sweet bow. And for some reason, it's getting lots of views on my channel. By my standards, anyways. By my channel standards. Obviously, you guys like them bows. And they are. They're sweet bows. And I do like this grip, but I think I might actually mimic it on my other ones. Keep having fun, guys.